Did you know successful traders wanna to me a proper risk management? They have their strict rules on how they handle uh, the risk. You wanna find a certain trader having big account banners. And then you end up like, whoa, I wanna take a big risk. Let me remember, remember each successful trader that you see, they use a proper, proper risk management. Now, intermediates, they use poor, 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 even intermediates wanna to me a poor risk management and they end up losing a lot of money. They end up blowing their accounts. So in this video, Takonesha Villa Bako Unezoka calculate a certain percentage or certain risk. How do you risk a small account? How do you risk a big account? And remember, this is a most requested topic in our channel. You requested this video from uh, how do you guys risk your account? How do you blow small accounts? Now we blow it for you. In this video, Takonesha actual tips amazon has to me and remember if you are having a bad time right now it cannot rust in this trading and this business is all about growth we adopt to the market and end up growing every day we encounter some mistakes but don't settle whenever you counter mistakes don't settle level up learn from mistakes and move on Risk management is what suffocates so many traders' account. We keep on a small account or the big account. Come on, you on a poor risk management, you end up losing. So in this video, I will show uh, actual tips. So let's get it. What's up? Now, quote of the day. Quote of the day. Quote of the day is about risk management because. Risk management, how you wanna risk your account because risk management is the most important tool to make you be successful or to keep you consistent if you have the actual skills. Now, code of the day, guess what? You know the vibe. So risky management destroys a great trading edge. This is a quote of the day. Bad risky management destroys a great trading edge. What does this say? Bad risk management. Ukiwa na bad risk management. Risk management you keep on involved when you trading account. Even if you even if you have a extremely old good trading strategy. Manaiki a cover strategy yako ni nzuri lakini una poor 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 risk management. So which means you will be entering trades same one ni nzuri, same one ni nzuri. By perfect things, we don't have perfect things, we have good entries. Now, the actual, the actual entry I'm going to you enter with poor risk management. But remember, we don't control the market, we only follow. So, when the moment you are poor risk management, you have to price, you can retrace it. Stop for a second, it's gonna hit you, you end up growing your account, and then price goes into a direction. So, you end up like what? I have, I have a, a good trading strategy, and then at the end of the day, I'm, uh, I lose, okay. So, bad risk management destroys a great trading edge. You want to have a nice trading strategy, but if you have a poor risk management, you want to end up losing every day. This is a quote of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. So, let's get it. Let's jump to the charts. Yeah, so, in this video, it's about risk management. Now, kupitia hii video, nitakuelekeza how you wanna handle your account with global risk management ili upate consistent profit. Remember, if uh, kama hauna proper risk management, which means you are likely to suffocate your account in the long run, you can even blow your account within two trades or even one trade kama hauna proper risk management. The actual and the professional traders do use risk management. When you put a professional trader had to me proper risk management because we don't control the market. We only follow and adopt how the market reacts. Okay. Now in this video, I'm going to show my actual tips. Ambazo na to me to calculate proper, proper, proper roll size. Ambazo na kwa na according to my account balance. Now, let me portray uh, this iliweze kujua kitu cha kwanza kabisa what is risk management what are all tips ambazo na kuwa natumia na pokuwa na manage my road size Now, remember risk management is all about Yeah, let me portray this 
here now this will be rich very nice now this about risk management now niatakiwa kwanza ufahamu risk management ni kitu gani okay so this about risk management how, how to manage risk in a right way i just portrayed um the handbook about uh, we literally explained all this about uh, the kutoka kwa elite cause now what i'm gonna is a kuasa saving the elite members only but i will only share with you how we literally manage um how we literally manage our risk in a right way for consistent growth now Risk management includes how to manage money with the relation to risk and returns. For us, the business of making money. And for us to make money, we need to learn how to manage risks. Being profitable in the first market is the main goal as we intend to invest the money. Trading is all about making money. Now, if you want to make money, you have to invest the money. For us, it's like other businesses. Ni kama zilivyo biashara zingine mtaloko hapo kale yako aloko from Simba aloko hapo hapi the mainly goal is to make money or to make a profit now you cannot make your money while you don't control your actual risks now for us like other business where to be profitable trader you need to plan and and think in the long term to enable you with stand with larger profits and grow your accounts for the Her, uh, beginners they do ignore such skills or such um uh, craft they do ignore this in terms of how you manage your your your, your risks and returns so when you trade without risk management means you can lose all of your capital it's like you are gambling unakuwa huna tofauti na mtu ambaye anakopa na trade uh, anacheza biko ama atatumzuka we manage less to maximize the returns and we manage returns to compound of the returns we all have this term called the compounding compounding is compa your account balance is maybe standing at 1k now if you create more profits with 1k the other profits numbers na kuna zipata you make them create more profits it's about uh, compounding compounding is only done in a long term now if you are trading Uh, consistent you want to be a profitable trader you just have to be sure about on maximizing returns at the same time managing your risks so hapo nime share about the actual tips ambazo unaweza uka, ukazitumia in this pdf kuna five tips but for you i will only share uh, only two tips The first tip is understand risk reward ratio. So always keep your risk uh, reward ratio to one ratio to and above. But we reward ukitaka kufanya trade inatakiwa uhakishe uh, if I'm risking one my target is to have two and above. I will show you in brief charts. For example, uh, let me open let me show it up around this level. So remember the markets always moves in different ways okay come on the uptrend market structure which means you have this E which is called the impasse and then the correction and the impasse and the correction now come on the uptrend market structure which means you are entering at the low at the low or where the market retraces around this level come on takona to me fibonacci i will literally show you even how to set the fibonacci in the coming videos So which means you are take uh, your entry point ni around 50% and 60%. Now this is an example. Come on, can find your entries around 50%, 60%. So which means this is your entry level and your target is around uh, 61% and f- uh, 7 7 uh, 27%. So which means come on take a trade you have to have the risk reward ratio now i will show you jinsi unaweza soma uh, is a risk reward ratio you see unaona hii kitu ambacho nakiona hapa hapa naonesha kuna hii 124.8 hii hapa ni kwamba all this inakuwa ni my reward okay and hii ndo kipengele ambacho the moment kama trade ikienda against me so which means i'm losing uh, some pips okay so let's say upande wa pips hapa ni pips 23.14 and upande wa reward is ni real ni pips mia mia moja 24 so nikitumia row size 0.01 kwenye 
account balance yangu which means hapa nakuwa na na faida dola 12 na hapa inakuwa na nime risk dola mbili so i'm risking to to have dola 12 at same time kuna hichi kitu umeandikwa risk slash reward ratio hapo unaona imeandikwa 5.3 so 5.3 which means i'm risking 1 to uh, to gain 5 so it's one ratio 5 this is the first tip you have to clearly understand kwamba the moment unafanya entry make sure your risk reward ratio is one ratio to end above when it is 5 inakuwa ni risk reward ratio nzuri usi risk in this way so which means kama na risk let's say pip 16 ili nipate um, maybe pip singa let me see ah uh, laba pip c pip c amsinatatu hii sio biashara nitakataka you have to make sure that when you risking the actual risk ambayo unaifanya if you're risking one aim to have two and above okay so this is the first tip and the second tip ambayo you have to clearly understand me about understand or risk 2% to 4% of your trading account when trading you will incur some drawdowns unajua market is never straight like nikiingia to trade naingia direct kwenye kwenye profit utaingia zile some drawdowns kwa maana inaweza kawa laba pips mbili pips tatu you know you need drawdown so to handle them we advise to risk on 2% kwenye low probability setups and 4% on a high probability setups nikisema 2% kwenye low probability setup na maanisha kama we trading setup yako maybe uh, laba ni hii haupo uh, kati ya vitu vyako sita umeona maybe vitu vile so hiyo tunasema ni low probability setup hautaki ku uiacha kwa sababu so, sometimes in the market inaweza kaenda upande ambao ni wako wako so you end up uh, kujilamu kwamba okay this trade i would have made money kwenye hiyo trade okay so what you have to do is only risk 2% of your account au 1% of your account. I do recommend 1% of of your account kama wewe beginner or you are running and trying to yeah uh, to sharp to sharpen your skill, okay? And 4% always is used kwenye high probability setup. High probability setup ni pale ambapo niko na out of my uh, five criteria nimeona maybe four criteria or five criteria zote. So, hata kama ni high probability trade, hautaki ku risk 75% or 100% of your account. Just a risky some percentage ambazo unajua even if you are in a drawdown, mpaka stop loss yako ina hit, hauta blow your account. Sometimes kama ni beginner anaingia trade ambayo hata stop loss yake inakuwa ija hit, then tali anakuwa ameshatumia margin call kwenye email. Don't do the dumb shit, okay? Now, I will show you in a nice illustration here how you wanna use this and the owner na CEO wa FXB Trading Group trading the new way to make money online you can learn about trading just forex through forex trading gamboni kama LH course gamboni online i just created this course just to share how we literally trade and i shared all of the trading tricks and all of the trading tips ambazo nazitumia au tunazitumia kwa ajili ya trade and remember forex market ndo kama base kwenye masoko mengine kama crypto same applies to stocks if we want if we want to learn about trading now along the FXB university utajifunza kuhusiana na finance kuhusiana na how to invest in the stocks how to invest in crypto and how to trade now we just created this course about the Elite FXB university course just for trading now within this course utajifunza kuhusiana na trading forex from beginner to advanced level this course iko na modules tano ambapo kuna module 1 ambao just for basic foundation for the new B also kuna module 2 ambapo inahusiana na basic foundation kwa ajili ya trade and the module 3 ni all about jinsi ya kujua who approach fundamentals and all of the trading charts kwenye the charts like the module 4 ni all about practicing all, all of the tips ambazo nime share and module 5 ni all about the practice na jinsi ya ku capitalize the voice market in a light way i also spoke about the psychology psychology for this year to trade the the actual and the good thing about this course in a corner from scratch 
na maybe actually some of the quiz and pia unaweza kuwa na questions ambazo unaweza kani approach mimi just like kama ni kutoka physical na how do you approach me pale kuna actual trading uh, trading platform ambapo unaweza kani approach trading platform una engage na all elite members kumbuka e-course ime impact takriban watu 500 ambao some ni mafundisho physical na ingine ni mafundisho online just like you now you need to join this team cause is where the trading skills are now you're welcome and see you to the course nataka nikuonyeshe the actual situation before kwenda kwenye actual situation make sure if you are new don't forget to like and subscribe Once you like you referee uh convince us to keep creating more education educative educative informations or videos like this. It encourages us to keep creating some some of the basis foundation of the voice course and even some helpful information. So make sure you like. And so this illustration icon I'm not here. I'll show you the actual Uh, two account balance account balance ya kwanza ni ambayo iko na dola 200 na account ya pili ni ambayo iko na dola 1000 na huyu mtu mwenye account ya dola 1000 hawezi kulisk sawa na mtu mwenye account ya dola au eh, dola 200 so which means they have the same uh, risks in terms of percentage but different account balance now kwa mtu mwenye account ya dola 200 huyu hapa anakuwa na uh, risk same ambayo ni 1 percent kwenye low probability setup 1% to 2% and 4% kwenye high probability trade. Now, same applies kwa mtu mwenye account ya dola uh, 1000. So which means anakuwa na the actual uh, risk ambayo ni 1 uh, uh, 1% to 2% kwenye low probability setup and 4% to 5% we always recommend kwenye high probability setup. We also have this risk reward ratio ambayo I literally explained it kwamba always kama utakuja kutumia uh, the uh, loss are um, in terms of ratio make sure the actual trade ambayo unaingia risk 1 to uh, and above but above to usingia trade ambayo you are risking on 1 to get 1 or half of what you are, you are risking that will be dumb business also uh, pips so always ili tuje kufika kwenye loss size loss size inakuwa determined na pips pips ambazo unakuwa na risk and we are always not planning the actual pips ambazo tuna risk uwezo kuwa kwenye trading uh, or you are umejipangia kwamba i'm always risking pips i'm seen i'm always risking pips 15 or pips 10 your actual setup ndo ina inakupa where the actual pips ambazo tunaenda ku risk Sometimes me naingia paka kwenye lower time frames ku uh, just to refine my entry level so that niza nika nikawa na reasonable risk. What I mean is kama we trade yako maybe in a trend in this way. Maybe you are looking for uh, for a reversal uh, a re area same mambo funiso kaingia trade which I mean I mean kwamba maybe you want to end around this level. E setup ndo inatakia ikupe with the actual level ambapo utaweka stop loss na same ambapo utaweka take profits. Hautaki kujipangia kwamba I'm always risking pips kadhaa. Okay? Maybe it wanna be a certain rule kwamba mi setup yangu ikiwa na pips laba above certain level sitaingia. Maybe that one may be a rule. But once comes to in terms of of uh, pips hautakiwi uh, kujipangia. Setup yako ndo inatakia ikupangie kwamba Whenever price it break this level manake may invalidate a point so is a ni inakuwa ni invalidated uh, trading setup I hope you understand Now tukija kwa lot size lot size ya mtu mwenye account ya dola 200 stands hapa 1% ya dola 200 ni shingabi na leo unakuwa ushajua kwamba okay 1% ni here and 4% ni here even if it's 5% unakuwa unajua kwamba 5% ya dola 200 ni shingada now in terms of lot size unakuwa unajua kwamba okay am i willing to lose laba 2% or 1% so tayari unaweza kujipangia kwamba kwenye account ya dola 200 utumie 0.05 au 0.04 ama 0.02 same applies kwenye mtu mwenye mwenye account ya dola 1000 4% unakuwa unajua 
4% ya dola moja ni dola 40. Now whenever niki ingia hii trade alafu maybe pips ambazo nimezi risk mpaka stop loss yangu ina hit laba nitakuwa na uzi laba dola 60. Then tali umeenda ume violate your actual plan. Inatakiwa u decrease your loss size mpaka ifikia tu ambao you are losing only below 40 40 dollars ama 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 the actual 40 dollars okay hata kama itakuwa ni low probability setup low probability setup 1% maana yake ni dola ngapi unakuwa unajua hii ni dola 10 na kwenye account ya dola 1000 moja kama nitakuwa na risk ya 25 25 na 5 mpaka stop loss yangu ina hii nitakuwa na risk kiasi gani so this is how you actual use you are, you calculate the loss size uh, risk reward ratio and pips so i hope you get me make sure you like and subscribe i uh, will be happy for you and you also convince me to create more education videos see you to the next video and have a blessed day and a week ahead a profitable one